Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome once again to Faith Fellowship's Daily Word of Encouragement. As always, I'm hoping and praying that your day is going well and you're walking in the richness of God's blessing. I want to spend a little time today going back to a video that I previously did talking about time and redeeming the time and the precious commodity that time really is. Jesus tells a story, a parable in Luke chapter 19, and he talks about a ruler, a noble ruler who establishes his kingdom, leaves, and he's coming back for his kingdom one day. And so I'm going to take the occasion of that story to talk to you a little bit about time and how God wants you and I to use it. After all, it's our most precious commodity. In Luke chapter 19, I'll pick up in verse 11. It says, while they were listening to this, meaning the people around him, he went on to tell them a parable because he was near Jerusalem and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. He said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called 10 of his servants and gave them 10 minas. Put this money to work, he says, until I come back. We all know that Jesus left. He ascended after his resurrection and he promised that he would return. But in this story, he gives his servants, us, his disciples, 10 minors or a sum of money to use for a very specific purpose. And that was for him to get a return on his investment. His investment in you is his spirit and your eternity. So he gives you these talents and abilities to use for his glory. But remember, he's coming back one day. He tells us the story in Ephesians chapter five about the husband, the groom, who's one day coming back for his bride. He's coming back for a bride who is without blemish, spot and, or blameless in his, in his sight. And so he's coming back one day and we're that bride. And so God wants you to invest God has invested in you and he wants you to invest time and effort and energy into building his kingdom that he's one day returning to receive unto himself. So how you use your investment or his investment in you is very important. Now the investment is different for all of us. We all have different gifts and abilities in life, but in either case, he's looking for a return on his investment in you. And so, if all of us, and most of us probably do, have a 401k or an IRA or a savings account, something that we are, have invested in and we're looking for a return, Christ is no different. You would not want to go back after years after in investing in your 401k and find that the same amount is there. And so he wants an increase. So with your time, grow in the faith, Grow in the knowledge of God so that you can be a very, very good investment that the Lord made one day and that you are a blessing on this planet. Remember how you use your time very often reveals what you prioritize in life. Make sure that when the Lord returns, he gets an increase on the investment that he made in you. So use your gift for his glory. May God richly bless you.